Hello everyone. This is our third session. We are moving with our next topic that is networking part 3. Okay, we are moving with our networking part 3. Just recap what we finished in previous session. Uh, we finished the multiplexing with types. Multiplexing means multiple access. If you want to divide as per your multiple axis, then that concept is called as what multiplexing. So what we can divide? We can divide the frequency. It's called as frequency multiplexing. We can divide the time. It's called as time multiplexing. We can divide the code also. That is called as code multiplexing. So that we finished in previous session. Then we finished types of wired media. There are three types of wired media twisted pair cable coaxial cable and fiber optic cable and then we compare the each and every cable with each other with using their characteristics so that we finished in a previous session now we are moving with the wireless media we already aware about wired media so now we are moving with a wireless media why we require the wireless media in a today's generation it's a very uh, popular media. It's called as what wireless because every device is a wireless. Every digital part is a what wireless communications and that easily move from one place to another place. But what is the mechanism behind that that we have to study in this? Basically wireless is what wireless communication has extraordinary convenience. The technology is expanding to offer better options for a wireless that means what we have uh, different devices and we are using for what wireless so we can communicate with each other we can transfer data from one place to another we can moving uh, the data from one place to another place and without any wired without any physical media that concept is called as what wireless media there are three types of wireless network. the word is a wireless line that means a local area network is without wire that is called as what wireless LAN. Basically, that particular concept we are using in our home. If you have a four to five laptops and you connect with your Wi-Fi technology at home, that is called as what wireless LAN. You can transfer data from one laptop to another laptop without using any wire. Based on that wireless device, it's called as what Wi-Fi. The second is extended LAN. You can extend your LAN. So, if you want to extend your LAN from one building to another building, that is wireless. That is called as what extended LAN. And that is a mobile computing. Basically, we are using the mobile device. That is what movable device from one place to another place. That is called as what mobile computing. Now, why we require the wireless network? There are certain situations where cabling is not possible. In that situation, we can use a wireless technology. Basically, uh, we have a geographical reasons like. Uh, we have a mountains, we have a forest, we have a sea, we have uh, there is certain area, the particular area cabling is not possible. In that area, we can go with what? Wireless network. The second, we, if you want to go with temporary installations, then also you can use a wireless. Uh, and third is cost cutting. Obviously, when you talk about wire network, so you require a lot of wires, you require a lot of devices to connect the nodes together. Best, better you can use wireless device to connect all the devices together. So there are three main re reasons we are using the wireless network. The first is what the particular area cabling is not possible. Second, if you want to go with temporary installation and third is what your cost cut. Now, what are the wireless transmission methods? So first is infrared. Infrared is a uh, old technology. Before Bluetooth, we are using infrared to transfer the data from one device to another device. It's transfer the data in a 10 Mbps speed, but the distance is very, very small. You have to connect two devices physical together, then only you can transfer the data. And that technology is called as what? Infrared. Second, we have a laser. This can be used for LAN and WAN and this receiver, in this particular laser technology, the receiver and sender should be in a straight line. The basic example is television remote system, uh, remote control. AC remote control that means you have to transfer data but your sender and receiver should be in a straight line the laser lights travel in a straight line so you require that the sender you have to arrange that sender and receiver should be in a straight line the next is narrow band in this 
signal frequency is used for transmission basically we can transfer the data in uh, what you can say long distance you can transfer the data in different uh, devices from one device to another device using this technology these are no uh, limitations between distance and there is no limitations between uh, what you can say uh, physical devices also so that technology we are using for narrow band next is microwave this is very important and this particular technology used for each and every type of network jitne bhi wireless network hai sab wireless network mein microwaves use hote aapko pata hai waves matlab kya hota hai the waves are basically based on frequency the traveling speed of waves air it's called as frequency so jo frequency hai wo as per your speed wo already divide ho chuki hai we have uh, very low frequency in the ground and slowly slowly if you are moving upward then your frequency is what change to so basic example the ground pe aap dekhte ho to uh, the speed of traveling air is very low hawa ka jo speed hota hai very low but agar aap terrace pe jaate ho so we'll get a little bit high speed of air dusre agar mountains pe jaoge to zyada speed milta hai so this technology we are using for what purpose microwave same here we are dividing the frequency so there are two types of microwaves the one is a terrestrial and second is a satellite terrestrial means both the sender and receiver should be on the earth and that frequency used in the gigahertz both both the uh, systems so sender as well as receiver system both the systems are in what earth and they can transfer data from one place to another place the satellite system the receiver should be in a planet and that receiver system is connected to your earth station or we called as a base station and then again base station receive the data from satellite system and transfer it to your uh locations and then only you can transfer the data from one device to another device so this technology basically we are using for wireless the, the satellite and terrestrial it's a very most important components or what methods for what wireless technology the next is topology a topology is a map of network the physical architecture of network it's called as topology means basically आपका फिजिकली नेटवर्क कैसे होगा नाउ वी ऑलरेडी फिनिश टेक्नोलॉजी अबाउट वायर एंड वायरलेस देन हाउ वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट वायर एंड वायरलेस व्हिच वायर वी कैन यूज ये सब हम लोगों ने देखा है बट नाउ वी वांट टू इंप्लीमेंट द नेटवर्क सो एग्जैक्टली आपका नेटवर्क कैसे होगा फिजिकल आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ नेटवर्क इट्स कॉल्ड एज व्हाट टोपोलॉजी एग्जैक्टली वर्किंग ऑफ नेटवर्क कैसे होगा डिवाइसेस कहां पे होंगे वायर कहां से आएगा दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग इट्स कॉल्ड एज व्हाट टोपोलॉजी द फिजिकल मैप ऑफ नेटवर्क इट्स कॉल्ड एज व्हाट topology when you talk about uh, topology just before that we require a certain mechanism and that is called as access method how you can utilize your network how access your network that concept is called as access method directly up topology implement nahi kar sakte ho uske pehle aapko data transfer mechanism implement karna hoga ki ki we are doing this particular term for communication so that means 100% data sender se receiver tak jana chahiye aur without any disturbance so that we have to manage in what access method so what is access method an access method is a set of rules governing how to node share the transmission medium there are three types of access method means aap apna network kaise use karte ho apni wire aap kaise utilize karte ho speed kaise utilize karte ho that is called as what access method the first is a contention in contention means any node can send the data to any one any time means koi bhi kabhi bhi kisi ko data send kar sakta hai the very important line is without checking the node is available inside the network or not or the device is busy or not means yahan pe kuch bhi check nahi kiya jata hai koi bhi kabhi bhi kisi ko data share kar sakte ho without checking the particular device is available inside the network or not the particular device is busy or not isme kya hota hai due to this there are some time it happens what collision and data loss collision means what sender or receiver dono at a time agar ek dusre ko data send karte hai that is called as collision this example let ho ki person a and person b person a wants to talk to b at the same time person b wants to talk to a and both are trying to call each other usme kya aate dono ko phone ka tone busy aata hai that is called as what collision so contention mein kya hota hai ki koi bhi kabhi bhi kisi ko bhi data transfer kar sakta hai without checking the particular device is 
अवेलेबल इन साइड द नेटवर्क और नॉट और बिजी और नॉट जिससे क्या होगा अगर अवेलेबल नहीं होगा तो डेटा लॉस होगा अगर वो डिवाइस किसी और के साथ बिजी होगा तो फिर भी डेटा लॉस होगा सो अवॉइड दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग वी आर यूजिंग डिफरेंट मेथड्स वी आर फेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑन कंटेंशन द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कोलिजन दैट मींस वी आर सेंडिंग द डेटा विदाउट चेकिंग द डिवाइसेस इन द डिवाइसेस अवेलेबल इनसाइड द नेटवर्क और नॉट सो पोलिंग डिफाइंस टू पोल द डिवाइस इनसाइड द नेटवर्क मींस आपको अपने डिवाइस को नेटवर्क के अंदर लाना है इट चेक द अदर डिवाइस इज अवेलेबल और नॉट इनसाइड द नेटवर्क दैट मींस ऑनलाइन वो चेक करते हैं कि डिवाइस नेटवर्क के अंदर है या नहीं है अगर नहीं है तो डेटा सेंड नहीं होगा अगर डिवाइस नेटवर्क में है तो ही डेटा सेंड होगा बट इट ट्रांसफर द डेटा विदाउट चेकिंग द डिवाइस इज बिजी और नॉट वो चेक नहीं करते कि द रिसीवर इज बिजी विथ अनदर पर्सन और अनदर डिवाइस और नॉट बट इट्स चेक ओनली द डिवाइस इज अवेलेबल इन साइड द नेटवर्क यू कैन सेंड द डेटा सिंपल कि जब हम लोग व्हाट्सएप पे जब हम लोग डेटा चेक करते हो तो हम लोग देखते हैं कि पहले ऑनलाइन है क्या नहीं है मतलब अगर ऑनलाइन नहीं होगा पर्सन तो सिंगल टिक आती है डबल टिक मीन्स वॉट ऑनलाइन एंड ब्लू टिक मीन्स वॉट द मैसेज इज डिलीवर सक्सेसफुल एंड रेड रेड सक्सेसफुल सो सिंगल टिक मीन्स वॉट विदाउट चेकिंग वी आर सेंडिंग द मैसेज पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इज अवेलेबल और नॉट ऑनलाइन और नॉट ऑनलाइन मीन्स वॉट दैट पर्सन इज वॉट इन साइड द नेटवर्क एंड डबल टिक मीन्स वॉट दैट पर्सन इज फ्री एंड दैट दैट पर्सन एक्सेप्ट यूर डेटा सो पोलिंग में क्या होता है कि जस्ट आप चेक कर सकते हो कि पर्सन और नोट अवेलेबल नेटवर्क में है या नहीं है बट वो बिजी है या नहीं वो पता नहीं चलेगा तो उसमें डेटा ट्रांसफर करोगे तो लिटिल बिट डेटा लॉस होने के चांसेस है अंडरस्टैंड बट दैट लॉस इज लेस देन कंटेंशन कंटेंशन से ज्यादा लॉस नहीं होगा कंटेंशन से कम होगा बट डेरा चांसेस टू लॉस ऑफ डेटा मीन जस्ट पोल यूर डिवाइस इन द नेटवर्क एंड ट्रांसफर द डेटा विदाउट चेकिंग द पर्टिकुलर योर रिसीवर इज फ्री और नॉट और रिसीवर इज बिजी और नॉट We can, हम लोग को कंफर्म है कि रिसीवर इन साइड द नेटवर्क है बट वो फ्री है या वो बिजी है वो पता चलता नहीं है दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेथड दैट इज टोकन पासिंग वॉट इज अ टोकन पासिंग बेसिक एग्जाम्पल जैसे मैंने पहले व्हाट्सएप का बताया एग्जाम्पल व्हाट्सएप में इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सेंड समथिंग सो बेसिकली वी आर सेंडिंग फर्स्ट हाई मैसेज हाई मीन्स वॉट वी आर सेंडिंग दैट टोकन If high is in single tick, तो हम लोग आगे का मैसेज फॉरवर्ड नहीं करते हाई को डबल टिक हुआ तो भी मैसेज फॉरवर्ड नहीं करते बट हाई को अगर ब्लू टिक होता है तो जैसे ब्लू टिक होगा हम लोग तुरंत हमारा मेन मैसेज ट्रांसफर करते हो दैट मीन्स द हाई इट्स अ टोकन द फर्स्ट वी आर चेकिंग द डिवाइस इज अवेलेबल इन साइड नेटवर्क और नॉट द सेकेंड डबल टिक मीन्स द डिवाइस इज अवेलेबल एंड द ब्लू टिक इज यूज टू डिफाइन दैट रिसीवर एक्सेप्ट योर टोकन नाउ यू कैन सेंड द डेटा मीन्स रिसीवर इज फ्री यू कैन सेंड डेटा नाउ अब जब तक ब्लू टिक नहीं आता है तब तक हम लोग डेटा सेंड नहीं करते बिकॉज हम लोग को पता नहीं है क्योंकि उसको मैसेज अभी तक रेड आउट नहीं किया सेम ये वी हैव टू सेंड वन टोकन एंड द टोकन इज एनी टेक्स्ट मैसेज एनी टेक्स एनी फाइल यू कैन सेंड जब तक टोकन रिसीवर एक्सेप्ट नहीं करता है तब तक डेटा सेंड नहीं कर रहा इज इट क्लियर जितने भी डिवाइस नेटवर्क में है वो रिसीवर के पास टोकन जाएगा टोकन होल्ड होगा जब तक टोकन रिसीवर एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेगा तब तक सेंडर डेटा सेंड नहीं करेगा दैट मैकेनिज्म इज कॉल्ड एज टोकन पासिंग व्हाट इज टोकन पासिंग इन दिस फ्रेम कॉल्ड एज अ टोकन विच सर्कुलेट एंड अराउंड द नेटवर्क अ कंप्यूटर दैट नीड्स टू ट्रांसफर मस्ट वेट टिल द रिसीवर रिसीव द टोकन वंस रिसीवर द रिसीव द टोकन यू कैन सेंड द डेटा दैट मींस देयर इज अ लेस चांसेस और देयर इज नो चांसेस ऑफ व्हाट डेटा लॉस दैट मीन it send the send only receive or accept the tokens due to this there is no data loss in this statement means there is no uh, data loss because of what jab tak receiver receive uh, tokens accept nahi karta hai tab tak sender data send nahi karega so that mechanism we have to implement the first is a contention second is a polling and third is a what token pass Thank you so much. Stay home. Stay safe.